of their tarot tube. So today I'm going to sort of compare and contrast two decks, the Golden Tarot by Cat Black and the Heaven and Earth Tarot by, whoops, focus, uh, Jack Sephiroth and Jamie Elford. So yeah, this deck actually has been promised to somebody else. It's ready to leave my collection has been ready for months. We're just having a hard time getting together. And this deck is brand new. So how did this come into my collection? Well, I was watching, let me see, Dark Fate Tarot's channel. If you haven't seen her stuff, check her out. I'll link her below. And she was working with this deck. And I realized, you know, I've just kind of ignored Cat Black. Um, so I'm going to give her a try. So I ordered two decks. Excessive, yes, but you know, dark of winter, January, things happen. So yeah, so now I have these two decks. And as I was looking at this deck, I thought to myself, wow, okay, this is touching on a lot of stuff that this, the Heaven and Earth Tarot, touched on for me. And interestingly, some of the reasons I want to get rid of this one are, it's okay in this one. Huh? So why? So I figured, let me just make a little video because I found that sometimes when I do a video on something, I actually learn about it as I'm going through it and talking to, talking it through. So then I thought, well, let me see if the theory that I have is correct. Why? 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 <laughs> so let me grab my tea here. You grab whatever you're going to enjoy while you're watching this. Mm. Ah, tea makes me so happy. Yeah, so let's take a deep breath because I have big feelings about this one. And why is this one okay? So what's the what's what's the deal? Well, I was raised Catholic and I was a real believer heavy-duty practicer. I don't mean like, oh, I went on Christmas and Easter. No, no, no. I was, I went to Catholic schools all the way up into college, and I was in church more than once every week. If so, you know, the rituals, even though I haven't been practicing for decades, I bet if I walked into a church right now, I could probably just like fall right into it. And this deck I found really triggering, but this one I didn't. Why? Because they're dealing with the same things. You know, the, the imagery. They're both very Christian Catholic imagery. So let's see if I can figure out why that would be. My best guess is that this is art that I'm kind of familiar with, having been to museums many, 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 many hundreds of times. Um, and that this harkens to that, but it doesn't feel familiar. So I'm just left with the religion without the historical art. And this somehow makes it more palatable. That's my best guess. All right, so let's just take a look. So I feel fine about both of these fools, although I really like that this one has a drum. So if you don't know, this is collage art. So you're never going to go into a museum and see something looks exactly like this. Let's, uh, let's take a look. This is original art created for this deck. But let's just give an example. So if you look in the back of this book here, all you have to do is find the right uh, card and it'll tell you where the things came from. Watch me take forever doing this. So... Uh, Nope, it's the back. Sorry, y'all. Hang in, hang in, hang in. Um, I'm going to give up in a second because I don't want you to just sit here and I don't edit. So anyway, if, if you look in the back, it'll give you the sources for all of the things that are in there. Okay, I've, I've got the right section. We're, gonna, we're good, we're good, we're good. We can do this. For the fool. No, the magician, that's what we're on. Right? So see, they've got where all of these uh, pieces of art came from how it's, they pulled it from different things and put it together. So that's how these collages came to be. This is all original. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm starting to get triggered. So I look at this and I say, well, he looks kind of like Western civilization Jesus-y. 
and already I'm like, oh, what the heck? Is that like a crown of thorns on his head? What are we looking at here? So then I have to pull it up. It's like, oh, no, that's some kind of headband thing. But what's with the bare chest? I, I don't know. I don't get it. That was very cheeky of me. Sorry. I know people love that deck. I apologize. It doesn't work for me. But this one does. It's, he still looks very Jesus-y, but somehow it looks, I don't know, more mythological. I don't find the artwork triggering. Why? Why? I don't understand. Same thing with this. Okay, we've got a, a Pappas. This one looks more like Mother Mary. Um, but this one, I see this and I feel like, oh, well, that was kind of a cheeky choice because we believe that there was this one pope. A lot of people believe that there was this one pope that was actually a woman. I think Joan, maybe. Um, and how that came to pass, I, I, I just don't understand. But, you know, whereas in the, you know, straightforward Catholic, well, yeah, we've taken the Divine Feminine and we've put it just on Mary. Mary has got a very heavy load to carry in uh, Catholicism. Okay, let's look at the Empress. Here we've got Mary and the baby Jesus, probably. That's who we have. Um, here, this Empress doesn't appear to be pregnant. Um, has a liar, question mark. Uh, but here's our rabbits. I'd like to see the rabbits. Anyway, there's something about the collage of this. It's bringing in a lot of earth elements, which I enjoy. And, you know, often we would see the Mother Mary standing on a globe uh that's a that's a common thing but this one it looks all dark it's like oh we're gonna take the empress and we're gonna make her i don't know it looks kind of gothy to me i don't get it but this one seems bright hopeful emperor looks super stern is this guy gonna pass judgment on you oh yes he is and it ain't gonna be pretty but this emperor He's more considered. Look, he's got this kind of soft neck jawline that seems much less intense. He's ruling. Look, he's got the got the lion there. But I kind of get the feeling that he might listen to you as well. This one, no, no. He's got the rules. He's passing them. You can take a long walk off a short pier, buddy. The Hierophant. Okay, this one is very Catholic looking. Very Catholic. He's got his supplicants. These supplicants are really supplicanty, really supplicanty. Now I know in this this deck is more occultish, pulling in the Kabbalah and stuff, Tree of Life. And we're getting some of these symbolisms here, and I don't really use that in my practice. So that's another thing. And, you know, I look at this and I see the Star of David, and I'm like, well, who brought that in? Um, that's I. I I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm probably offending some people. It's, it's just my opinion. And you know, we all know how that goes. The lovers. Okay. I actually do like this lovers. And I do like the two um, the two trees with a very different energy. I'm even okay with the angel up there. Wait, where did my lovers go? Hey. What's happening here? I don't see my lovers. Okay. I hope I haven't lost that card somehow. All right, let's let's move on and hope for the best. Here we have strength. And whoops, put the chariot back. Okay, there's our chariot. This one's super traditional looking. I don't really have a problem with it, uh, except that you can't see the face. So that's like, yikes, what's happening now? That's it. This I find this deck a little bit threatening. That's, that's that's what I find. Okay, I figured out one thing. I find this threatening. This one more threatening. I appreciate that it's a woman up there. I don't really understand exactly how this is moving, but that's okay. It's a brand new deck. I'll work it out for myself. But I do like the heraldic. Have I got that right? The shield thing. And I like um, this. I got confused. The, the back of the other deck looks a lot like this. Let's, let's pull it out because now I brought it up. So... Kind of reminds me of that. My mind is a free associating place. All right, I'm okay with both of these. I think it's really interesting that what this one has got this horse in action in the background. And I've noticed a lot of 
uh, I don't know if they're going to be crows or ravens in this deck. So we're going to find out. Like, right? There's one. Here's one. Oh, there's a lot to learn about here. And I like how this lion is just kind of sitting on her lap. Like, nice kitty. Well, we'll see. We'll see. This is a card that I enjoy very, very much. I relate to it personally. Now, the hermit is very easy for me to understand why I like this one. Because I think of a hermit as being in a forest. This one appears to be on water. Um, at least that's how I'm reading it. So they lost me a little bit with that one. But this one and this hermit, I don't know just more friendly looking. This one, very stern. Okay, so we've got two things. It's the dark palette, it's the sternness, it's the bringing in the Kabbalah and the Sephira and the um, Tree of Life. Okay, here's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, and this is really all symbol, 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 symbol. Um, this one, the way they've collaged all these things together with different phases of life, and um, I mean, we have the symbols here, but this one I could read a little bit more intuitively. This one I feel is, re re uh, no. I feel like it's really relying on occult and esoteric knowledge. I'm okay with both of these justices. Uh, I would like to think my justice has a little bit of angel energy going for it. And uh, I like the petitioners in the scales here. That's that's kind of a nice touch. This one, very classic. Uh, you know, if you've got it all memorized, easy to read. Maybe that's another thing. I feel like this deck, uh, having a sip while I think. I think this deck relies more on memorized meanings for me and I do like to read intuitively I like to have the meanings memorized and still be open to what I what hit I'm getting from the image so at the end of the day it just comes down to the fact that these images don't speak to me and these do but the question is since they're both coming from that same Catholic art tradition why am I okay with this <laughs> not okay with that well, this is very, very grim, isn't it? And I don't think of death as necessarily being so grim. Um, maybe it's my age. Uh, I don't know. I just like this one better. I mean, let's go back here. If you're really a believer, right? Let's say you really are from this Catholic tradition. Um, then you believe in the hereafter and, you know, hopefully you've been practicing your, your religion and you're in good shape and you're not, you know, you're not going to the bad place. So why, why this? Not, that is not a Jewish belief, however. So, you know, there's more questions about, you're going to call in the Kabbalah and the tree of life and some of that stuff. And I, I, there's some inconsistencies. All right. This is turning out into a bash on this deck. Sorry about that, y'all. If you like it, you should probably just turn off my video now. <laughs> I'm probably going to just cheese you off. All right. Uh, temperance. This temperance is interesting because it's got another, like, there's some input happening here. And this one is just this character doing the temperance thing without any kind of, Influence? And what is that? A star David Halo? Since when? Okay. Uh, on to the devil. Not really loving either one of these. I have, I guess, a very um, soft idea about, about what the devil is. <laughs> we'll see. I've just kicked back the naked tarot on uh, Kickstarter. And the devil in that, that one, which is also a collage fine art mashup, is more in line with my views. I've, I view the devil as a tempter, uh, you know, that's going to pull you away from your true path. And yeah, neither one of these are tempting to me. A uh, warning, yes, but I don't see what I would be tempted by there. Okay, uh, the tower. This one's got more humanity in it. I feel like this angel's unhappy about this situation. 
Okay. And this feels more like that uh, Wrathful God. Oh. More of the uh, Old Testament Abrahamic God. <laughs> I'm just going to smite you. Uh, the stars are pre star pretty, pretty similar. Pretty similar. Although I really like this figure. She's this kind of a body is a body that uh, I remember seeing when I was young and we would go to museums and I'd say, oh, so that kind of body's okay. It made me feel happy. <laughs> Not necessarily seen. I don't have that body, but I liked it. Okay. The moon. Okay. I kind of like this one a little bit better. But this one, I'll spend some time with it. Oh, look at this diagonal. and she's awfully friendly looking, isn't she? All right, I'll probably grow to love this one like once I understand it. All right, I know some people have a problem with the baby on the horse, but for some reason it just doesn't bother me. I wonder why that is. Funny mashup. This is probably Jesus in somebody's painting. And here's judgment. Of course, we would expect Jesus on this one. Uh, but this doesn't, this looks like, uh, who would that be? Gabriel? Mm, Uh-oh, drawing a blank on my angels. But, um, yeah, they're both kind of the same. So I would say, why is this one more appealing to me than this one? Oh, we've even got the sword in the side on that one. Always hated that. Uh, I guess it's just the colors. I guess it really just comes down to the colors on this one. Also, this is, um, kind of making me think of crusades. I don't I don't feel good about the crusades. All right. Uh interesting that she's clothed here. Who are all these people? Hmm. Oh look, we've got a Gregorian chant manuscript up there and there's that black bird. I am looking forward to finding out which bird that is. Okay. All right. So we've got people here. Okay. So I've, I've answered my initial question and this is getting long. So I guess I'm going to stop and not do a card by card. Uh, so I guess what it comes down to is this probably because of these gold borders and art that feels familiar, even if I don't recognize a specific thing because they are mashups, it's a collage, it feels really familiar in a not religious way. So even though, especially in the majors, it's very kind of Catholic, well, you know, the Catholic Church was a big patron of the art. So a lot of the art from, oh, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500, you know, it was sponsored by the Catholic Church. It's only in relatively modern history that our art is like more secular. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I'll, I'll hold to that, you know, like within the last two or 300 years. Um, so not surprising that it's very Catholic. And for some reason, I'm able to just look at this and see fine art and get intuitive hits. Whereas with this one, it feels super Catholic. It's dark, kind of goth. It feels triggering to me. Um, so I'll be happy when I finally am able to give this to someone. And I am really looking forward to getting to know this one. So that's it. I got to the bottom of my, my, my thing. It's the colors. It's the way the art is presented. It is what I see as um, not being something that I can read intuitively. And that's why I prefer the Golden Tarot to Heaven and Earth. Oh, I'm glad I got to the bottom of that. Thanks for coming along with the ride. We had a little bit of a philosophical jam there. Hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I hope you find something beautiful and joyous in your day.